Grand Island Express originally started in 1967 as Grand Island Moving and Storage. And my father started the business. He passed away in 82. Uh, that same year we changed the name to Grand Island Express. GIX Logistics was started in 2006 as we uh, worked on expanding into the brokerage area. Started with 12 people and today we're at 58 people. So right now we're nationwide. We do Canada and Mexico as well, shipments in and out of there. Um, you know, some of the new things that we're getting into is rail. Uh, we're starting to look into ocean containers as well. Um, the overseas uh, world type shipments, we've dabbled in just a little bit, but I can see that definitely coming in the near future. It's all about what opportunities we get presented and we have a very in-depth sales training process that uh, I think makes them reach for more and we're not afraid to try new things and we're not afraid to hire talent that has that skill set. Culture is not you know ping pong tables and video games and TVs. Our culture is you know doing what we say we're going to do and, and, and really providing a high level of customer service and, and being good at it. You know we could pack up the all the cool stuff in the office and our people would still show up because they know just ethically we're doing we're doing things right by our customers, by our carriers. We thought the downtown environment would be a good recruiting tool and we kind of had a vision this would be the new home and corporate office of our logistics. Our traditional hire, I would say, is somebody straight out of college. So a lot of students coming straight out of college maybe don't know what to expect. I think in the classroom they hear how to be professional and how to communicate the correct way and things like that, which is great. Uh, but I don't think they expect to have uh, the opportunity to wear jeans to work or um, maybe be able to drink a beer at three o'clock on a Friday afternoon because they've had a really long week or it's somebody's birthday. One question I always ask is, who's quit a job? You know, I'm asking a group full of students, who's quit a job? And a handful will raise their hand and I said, why did you quit? And the first thing out of their mouth is, um, my manager, right? My manager. So people quit people, they don't quit companies. And I think that's important to understand. I think that's something unique about us. We do have students that graduated college. This was their first job and they've been with us for four, eight, 10 years. It's really cool to see these kids coming out of college, moving here, bringing that back to Grand Island. Um, I think Mike and I talked the other day, there's been 15 homes purchased just within these last five years. Uh, by these college kids moving here. My goal is to have them retire from here. You know, we're always looking for the next team lead. I, I'll, I'll hire you as a sales rep, but what I'm really wanting is my next team lead. I want my next leader. I don't feel we're really that different. I just think we have a little different approach, um, but I think anybody can be successful if you've got the right people, and that's what we credit everything to is our people we have on staff. I think it's our culture that gets us where we need to be, and that's what separates us the most. At the end of the day, we're jeans and t-shirt and ball cap wearing people. Um, it's just who we, that's just who we are. We are 24-7, um, 365 year round. Trucking doesn't stop. You know, obviously we want to bring as many jobs as we can to Grand Island. This is our root. They've been so supportive to us and we want to return that back to them. Yeah, we want to grow here as much as we can, you bet. There's no limits in my imagination.